Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review. Thanks to Ben over at Toy Bento. I am taking a look at the JJ01 Supreme Leader. This is by Zhu Zhang Toys, I believe it is. Uh, as you can see, mine has arrived. It's got slightly battered en route. Uh, I believe that's actually the DHL's fault, not... Uh, not Ben and his store, but here he is. I kind of thought we were done and dusted with the uh, Transformers Classics Optimus Prime mold. Uh, he's been out a fair while, and he's had upgrade kits upon upgrade kits and been knocked off, bootlegged. Uh, but no, no, he is back, and he is bigger than ever. Just taking a quick look at the back of the box, we learn that he is 25 centimeters tall, 8 100 grams in weight and we can store his detachable door things on the back. Now I like that because uh, a lot of people didn't like those door flaps hanging down from the arms. Uh, God, he was a really nice looking truck wasn't he back in the day. Now he comes packaged in a pretty flimsy uh, clamshells, very cheaply made. Considering his heft uh, you'd think there'd be a little bit more Maybe they should have gone for the foam, I don't know. And you also get a small card with a QR code on. And I've tried both of the codes. There's one that takes you to Yuku and one that takes you to YouTube. And both the videos are private and you can't view them. That's where the instructions are. So there's no instructions with this guy. Uh, okay, he's pretty straightforward to transform and we've all pretty much done this transformation before but it would have been nice to give us uh, at least working links. Now something else we get in this kit, posable hands, but it would appear that we have to kind of build our own. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be uh, popping these off and building some hands, doesn't it? And we get his smokestack rifles, pretty much what we've come to expect, it just folds out. It's nice, nice that the uh, sprayed up, the paint applications on this guy in general are pretty nice and he's got a lot of heft to him, I can't emphasise that enough. Right, here he is in all of his glory. It's a very nice looking truck. Now that they've actually opted to give us rubber tyres as well, which is very nice. And they spin wonderfully, look at that. What a gorgeous, gorgeous figure. Big, huge, chunky uh, gun stacks <laughs> on the back there. I mean, to give you an idea of just how big this is, there he is with MP10 and Masterpiece Smokescreen. Uh, he's actually Masterpiece scale, isn't he? And here he is alongside his older brother, uh, the Classics Prime. Uh, I think I believe this is the Henke version, I've got the Crime Bumper, but I've lost the uh, official stacks to go with that, so that's uh, the Ultra Magnus stacks on there, but you get the idea, he is substantially bigger, but he uses the same mould. And in case somebody asks, if you pop these sections up, uh, there's this big chunk at the back here, now it's not quite wide enough to uh, actually attach the trailer on, which is a shame really. It would be nice to actually have that attached on there properly. Uh, maybe it's a little job for Shapeway, he's just a tiny small adapter. And then we could have him towing the MP10 trailer. Right now, let's go ahead and get this guy transformed up and see how good he looks in his robot mode. First port of action is to remove the gun sections. And with these, you want to flip these sections down, bring these sections out, you kind of need nails or a tool of some description because they really do uh, sit in there extremely tightly and then we just fold this back over and tab, tab, tab and there we have a very nice looking gun. Here's the second gun, it's made from detaching the roof panel section, you want to just open this up like so, bring the handle section down and these sections here is going to tab in and in and this section here is going to come up and that's going to close off over there and we can bring out the fire tip that just tabs in there and it's nice I like how they've gone for the grey there it's a big chunky roof gun look at that roll that's fantastic uh, flip 
back these sections here. They are tabbed in very firmly onto these silver legs. So do the same with both sides. Bring this waist section down, come to the front of the cab, pull this section outwards. And this is going to just come untabbed and bend across. We get these nice new little flap sections which can be folded down. And with this arm section out, bring down the fists, bring this section down and extend this, turn that section around, bring the arm down. And now we can just rotate this section all the way around the arm, like so. And then come to the back and just slide that section out. And we now have detached arms. Uh, at this point, you can now bring up the head. Now, the head is, um, is certainly different, isn't it? It's not the most prime-esque of heads. From this point, you want to just fold this back section up, down, and that's gonna slide inside like so, and bring this section up, then grabbing the top of the body and making sure the arms are clear. You want to just rotate that on that beautiful ratchet joint. Now these wheel sections at the back here do actually collapse. Now it's a very stiff, stiff joint. I was worried I was gonna break it first time round, but it does collapse. Come down to the legs. We can bring the knee pads up like so, and we can open those feet. And here he is. He is awesome. The more I play with him, the more I like him. He's got some really nice additional features that I actually wasn't expecting and I am genuinely very impressed. I'd never heard of this brand. I've never bought anything from them. Uh, I don't know what they've done, if they've done anything before this, but this as a first offering is absolutely sensational. Now, yes, he does have that kind of Simon Cowell look to him with a very high waistband and very long legs, but it's definitely prime and he is glorious. Taking a nice close look, first of all, we look at the way the hand grips the gun. It's a very natural pose. There's a masterpiece style peg, which allows the hand to be pegged in there. The joints on the arm are crazy tight there. So you've got rotation, you've got that bend, you've got the rotation at the wrist. We've got the upper torso, Rotation, we have got an ab crunch. <laughs> oh, I love an ab crunch. The head is ball mounted, so I can look up and down, left and right, and we can get some quizzical posing going on, coming down to the legs, so they can come this far forward on a soft ratchet, all the way back to there because of this nicely tucked in back section. Out to the side for a big high kick. We've got upper thigh rotation, we've got A nice double jointed knee. Oh, I love the sound of that. And we get some really nice pivoting and we get forwards and backwards motion on those feet. And with a little bit of patience, this guy can do just about anything. Here we have him alongside his classic compadre. As you can see, I mean, there's a great deal of similarities. You can tell that it's taken from that, but I think the additional features they've added, uh, it's just something about it. I mean, the color scheme they've used is much more in keeping with the Takara MP10. It's very similar indeed. Uh, maybe I would have liked the chrome bumper, but saying that chrome is a dust magnet. Now to store the wings on the back, you want to just fold this section out and you need to rotate these sections around uh, so they're at this angle. So the smaller one is on top. So when we bring this one in, the smaller one is on the inside. Uh, that now allows us to bring the wing sections in. If we just take a look on this section here, we've got small and large. We can just tab like that that out and small then large and tab like that now we have them stored on his back and that kind of makes him look a bit like a jet wing kind of optimus now doesn't it now these are the standard hands which come attached uh, the fingers are pinned through here and we do have a trigger finger now the trigger finger does have an additional point of articulation as well uh, so it can 
pull off some pretty decent poses. Now I haven't cut all of the little uh, nubbins or the sprues off these hands yet, but these are the ones that come on the uh, sprue. There we go, they are very good hands. They're actually very tight joints on there. And you've got three points of articulation on each finger, so it's very natural in posability. So you can get a nice, nice pointing pose there going on. Uh, to remove the other hands, it is literally a mushroom peg. Now the other hands are incredibly stiff, but they are on a mushroom peg and they will come off. You li really do just have to work that hand and then slide the new one on. Now the new one goes on a lot easier than the others. There we go. There we have Prime and his new hands. Now here we have them alongside MP10. Uh, see, they scale remarkably well together. It's kind of looks a bit like his Shogun Japanese cousin, doesn't it, with that kind of helmet thing going on there. And yes, this, this makes me very happy. It's not a perfect fit, but it's pretty darn good. If I had the likes of the KFC hands on Prime, then they would fit a treat. So they'd easily go around and I'd easily plug in. It's just that these are a little bit rigid. And as far as enemies go, I'm going to have him squaring off uh, against the, the Kubenbao version of Combiner Wars Megatron. I'm still going with my kind of cross-dimension thing where G1 Megs and G1 Prime recruit from other dimensions. And they've got this kind of classics Prime uh, to fight off against the Combiner Wars Megatron. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the JJ01 Supreme Leader. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I've also included a link as to where I purchased this. Just click the link just down here, and that takes you through to Toy Bento. And I'd like to thank you all again for taking the time out of your busy days to watch my content. I hope you enjoy what I'm doing at the moment. If you do enjoy it, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell alert, which lets you know when I upload more content. Feel free to share this amongst your friends, groups, and family. And until next time, from myself and Optimus Prime, uh, goodbye.